you're going to be uh, one of the main features in road racing in Ireland for their issue coming and starting off in March uh, with, with, with Stephen Davison. So uh, we're looking forward to reading and learning a wee bit more about you. I haven't a clue what's going to be written now, so I'm <laughs> looking forward to this myself uh, to see what lies uh, Stephen Davison has told yeah, about me. Yeah. <laughs> you, you tend to like looking at magazines, especially road racing in Ireland. You must have a vast collection of books and magazines. Yeah, um, used to be, I wouldn't say of every edition of the Road Race Ireland, but it used to be I did have because it was like my Bible for information for the commentary, yeah, yeah. especially the yearbooks, yeah. you know, when you get all the results. Yeah. And I would have written about the way I wanted the results written for easy reading. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I have a fair collection of all those magazines, but there is only the one left now, yeah. uh, so Road Race Ireland. That's what I was going to say, you adapted the social media where everything's instant, 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 yes. whereas the, the magazines are, tend to be a wee bit behind. But um, Well, as I was saying to Stephen Davis the other day, I said, Stephen, your job as a journalist is a lot easier than mine as a commentator. And he said, why? I said, well, look, if you make a mistake when you're writing something down, you, you use a rubber, or maybe it's tip or out, out, nowadays yeah. you hit the delete button. Yeah. But me as commentator, um, if I say something wrong, it's gone. Yeah. I can't rub yeah. it out. Yeah. You know, yeah, so I have yeah, to be very careful, yeah. always had to be careful about what I said. Yeah. But uh, sort of tongue in cheek, bit of a joke, that you know. Okay, we're looking forward to seeing, seeing this feature, George. Um, I wish you all the best for 2020.